on the school watch. Local leaders asking for a plan to try and address bullying in Monterey County. Teachers and educators are teaming up to study where and why bullying happens and then look for solutions. Action News reporter Bianca Beltran joins us with a look at the growing problem. Well, Aaron, Dan, these days you can't just leave the bullies behind at school anymore. The harassment continues online and oftentimes it takes kids to their breaking point. So this issue is being considered a threat to public health. In the U.S., one in three students say they've been bullied in school. And the effects are becoming a health concern nationwide. Victims of bullying can uh, lead to self-destructive behavior, uh, injuring themselves, cutting themselves, um, and having very low self-esteem. Teachers are often the first line of defense when it comes to spotting bullying. And so one of the biggest things that we see is grades start dropping or we start seeing a little bit more behavior withdrawal. And so once we notice those pieces, then the adults interact and, and then we have teams that come together and we help students identify what might be causing those, those issues. Much of it happens online, making it harder to track, leaving parents like Veronica feeling helpless. Since fifth grade, this one specific bully has just been taunting her. Verbally, um, just this year it got to be physical. Her 13-year-old has been bullied for years. It's continued despite notifying the school and police. What she's been teased about is her weight. They tell her, do you have cancer because you're so skinny? You know, if you do, why don't you kill yourself? One organization working to stop bullying in almost a dozen Selena schools says it shouldn't be about punishing bullies, but creating a better environment at school. We need to address the pattern of behavior without marginalizing or minimalizing or diminishing that human being. I care about you. That behavior does not fly here. And many schools are already using a number of programs and methods to address conflict between students and collecting this kind of data will help them come up with more solutions. But like Veronica, a number of parents are losing faith in school's ability to mediate and are instead turning to police and lawyers to resolve the problem. Erin, Dan. Hi. Thank Morning. you, Bianca. Thanks, Bianca. The Salinas City Elementary School District is holding a march against bullying. That's going to happen two weeks from today on the morning of May 4th from 9.30 to 11.30. The march starts at Salinas High School on Main Street.